Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb and today in this tutorial video, we will learn how to configure a text or visibility property inside the WinCC SCADA. In the SCADA system, controlling the visibility of text is a common requirement for creating dynamic and user-friendly operator interface. So in this tutorial video, I have a one pump and I want to display over the pump like local and remote status. So I will open the PSG simulator. If I want to turn on the input, I want to display the remote status. And once I will change the selector switch over the local, then it should show a local. So in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can configure like that text through visibility property. So come in Wing CC Explorer and come in the graphic designer. And we already developed uh, this graphic screen main graphics in our previous studio. We'll just open this graphic screen. So our graphic designer is open now. I will select the static text and just I will put it here. And then I will write. Yeah local and press enter key so come here in effect global color scheme just put it no and come in style i want to remove this white background come in the fill pattern and select the option one transparent so now the background is removed secondly i want to remove this outer line so come in the light weight, line weight, and double click, and just put it zero. So as you can see, so now I want to increase the font size. I will put it 25. And now I want to change the color of this text. Come here in the color, and then font color. Just select the font color. Select for example white color, and that's it. Now we'll just to get it for uh, display the remote signal and come in the text and set position mode. Okay, so we'll al align it properly. Okay, come here in the local. And in this particular tutorial, we will see how we can uh, apply the visibility or height and height properly through animation. So, come here in the static test, click, double click over the new animation and select the tag. So we'll select here the POM1 local and then come here in the data type boolean and after that come in the add property. So for in this tutorial we select the text option. So I want once the value is true, on that case, this local should display. Otherwise, there is no any text should display. So similar manner for the remote. And remote, select the data type, billion. And then add the property of text. So that's it.
will save the project and run. So means the runtime is open now. So I will open the my simulator. Once I will turn on signal from the PLC or uh, field, as you can see the local status is displaying. And once I will turn off, it will hide. And once I will turn on the for remote signal, our remote is visible. So along the level we learn how we can configure uh, hide and unhide our visibility property through animation and property. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video.